I'm going out with Michael Stipe, and we're going to go, I think, drink lots of red wine, and um, I'm going to do a really theatrical red look. So fuck off till I get it kind of done. one of those looks that doesn't look good in the middle of it. It's really controversial at the end of it, but I love it. This right here was inspired by this and my Gretchen Ryan painting. The pigment that he's using, no one else makes this kind of red. No one. Except Makeup Forever. He put my makeup on like this the other night and I cried about something and then I cried again about something else. Then I slept in it just to see. I don't ever really sleep in my makeup, but I wanted to see. And then my shrink came in the morning and he was really freaked out. <laughs> I'm not trying to be pretty in this look. I'm referencing Gold Diggers, Floridora Girls, Ziegfeld Girls. And those are the clothes I collect um, up to about 1929 because my vintage dealer is sick. Um, her name is um, Timeless Vixen at Etsy. But if you touch the Edwardian shit, I'll find you. I have these done from a woman in Williamsburg. I make clothes. I make my own clothes pretty much. Yeah, I make them for other people. I made a uh, skirt for Melissa of tomorrow. Taking old precious shit and cutting it up. I love that. And I love the fact that I can use pieces from the 90s. So I took one of Kurt's sweaters, uh, no, one of his flannel shirts, and I made ruffles out of it. And I took one of my white slips I used to wear and I dyed it. Sorry about the fire. I'm kind of like copying Rodarte a lot. Um, uh, their piece works amazing. I love Miu Miu. Um, there's a Prada suit I think I'm going to buy in about an hour. I, I got the nylon app <laughs> so I could keep up with, you know, what the kids were doing. I saw this picture of Keisha at Lollapalooza and I put her in my twit pic because I thought she was like a cute, cool girl. And then I heard it! Sweetie, I need to fix your shit. Alright, I'm gonna go. I have to go chant. Just like this.